Hi, lovely friends. Thank you so much for being here today. Here's a quick glimpse at today's reverse dip flower acrylic pour painting in pinks and purples. Aishu's favourite colours. Here's the special lineup today. Some wonderful friends and such talented artists. Just up before me was the lovely Sparkle by Art by Sparkle. And following me is my very dear friend Christy from Creations by Christy. And if you've missed the videos for day one, they'll be in the description below and there's a whole load of lovely artists there too. So these are some wonderful friends and artists that have come together and it's such a special occasion. So I'm just going to show you the colours that I'm using today. And I'll tell you as I go along. But I'm just so thrilled to be part of something so special, a collaborative art project where we're celebrating Aishu's 15th birthday. And it's not just any birthday celebration, it's a gathering of 17 talented artists all coming together to create a collection of unique pieces for Aishu. Now we all know her favourite colours and certain things that she likes and there are going to be so many surprises along the way. It's going to be an incredible tri tribute and I can't wait to see all of the amazing artwork. So for my contribution, I'm creating a reverse flower dip pour using a beautiful combination of pinks and purples. These colours are not only quite favourable by lots at the moment, but also they represent joy, creativity and friendship. So they're perfect for celebrating Aishu's special day and her special favourite colours. So as I use the colours now, this is a bottom of a soda bottle that I've cut off and I'm using today. And the canvas is an eight by eight inch. So I'm just gonna leave you for a little while where you enjoy the pouring down the bottle and just to watch the process as I lift and move the cup how I alter it and how I do the embellishments. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aishu. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Steve Hobby says happy birthday. So we did a little tune together for you today, Aishu. <laughs> So as I lift up the cup, I'm just literally thinking, oh my goodness, and it's okay. So I get my gold and I put a nice line around the inside of the flower. And I'm quite liking the fact that it's it's got quite a symmetrical look to it. And I'm glad that I picked the cup up and I moved it slightly just in between the petals. So I'm using my palette knife just to create more of a feathered flower look and if you look closely you can see the first time I did it it was every other petal and then I brought the gold through on the second swipe so I'm dampening a serviette now now I've seen this done before so it was quite on the edge work and I didn't know how it's going to turn up because turn out because dampening a serviette is very very fragile and so when I was tapping over the painting I thought oh my goodness what have I done but I carried on going and I carried on tapping very very gently and then I lifted up all four corners brought them into the center and very slowly don't forget this is sped up I then lifted it up and there is the flower now then, I'm going to be spinning this out in a minute, partly because it's what you do, but partly because Aishu loves a good spin on an acrylic pour. <laughs> so that one is for your Aishu. Now then, as I spin round, I can see the potential for some stamens and some looks of nectar 
to be in the middle. So I wanted to just give air uh, pop all the air bubbles, and you can see that the cells that have been created with that lovely triart, which is a cell activator, has given a natural sort of center to the flower. So I then got about getting my titanium white and something with a very, very tiny nib to it. And I started to put in the stamens and you know what I used? I used the tip of one of my scissors because it was the sharpest, most pointed tool that I could find. So I'm starting to put all of the dots in and then I'll be creating more of a stamen look. So just enjoy this process and I'll come back very shortly. The truth hurt more than that I would still make plans with all of your friends' dinners And I'd save you a plate Like you're coming by late Covering up the fact that you're gone Lied to myself and said I'm moving on I could feel a chapter closing down as we come to the end now with the embellishments of this reverse dip flower acrylic pool painting, I hope you've enjoyed the journey with me. So I'm just finishing off here and you can see how I've just used the palette knife now just to very, very slightly draw a line through, just touching the paint and drawing it so that it looks like a stamen. So I just finished off the painting and I just was so pleased with how the cells had formed around the flower. It just had such a delicate look. What do you think about the stamen and the nectar look in the middle? So I just want to say, this has been such a wonderful tribute, all of us coming together as artists. I've really enjoyed using a new technique for a new birthday. Really enjoyed being here and working with all my wonderful friends and artists. Thank you so much, I issue, for including me in your special celebration today. And I'll put all of the details of all of the artists for both days in a playlist in the description below. So I hope whatever you're doing today, you're looking after yourself and you're being kind to yourself. And I'm celebrating with I issue today. So happy, happy birthday, I issue. Have a great day. I have the pleasure now of introducing Christy from Creations by Christy. She is a guiding light to us all and such a dear friend, amazing, talented artist. Let's go and see what she's created, how exciting. And don't forget to check out the lovely Sparkle who was just before me too. Thank you all for being here and I hope to see you again soon. Take care now. Bye.